Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Weigert. I'm 26 years old. Uh, I'm currently working uh, into the sustainable development. Uh, I'm going to detail uh, later what I'm currently doing for a living. Uh, and I've been in a GE for almost uh, three years uh, and I'm from Belgium. So I have been in a GE in Belgium, which is HEC advisory for three years. Uh, there I have been in a uh, marketing position um, for my two first years and then the uh, third year I, I have had a chance to uh, become president of uh, the junior enterprise. Uh, so yeah, it's been very, very enriching for different uh, aspects. My experience uh, as a junior entrepreneur uh, has really helped me uh, find a job. Uh, for, for instance, um, I had my first job was product owner, which is uh, you're responsible to develop a product of a company. I was working to the energy sector, and um, as I have been uh, in contact with many different people outside of the school during my junior enterprise uh, journey, it helped me, uh, you know, um, first for the project uh, management. Uh, as I had to, to deal with uh, customers, uh, for uh, with the contracts, with uh, the team, uh, the people management. So yeah, it helps you very much to um, yeah to have a professional attitude and to deliver results into the, the deadlines, to respect and to meet the, the deadlines that your job uh, asks you. So as I told you, I'm currently working into the development, sustainable development sector. Uh, as a SDG advisor, which is uh, you know a position uh, where I help uh, companies uh, take action for sustainable development by using the sustainable development goals uh, developed by the United Nations. You know the 70 goals to meet sustainable development at a large scale for all the countries around the world. So that's my job. I try to raise awareness uh, for the companies in Belgium and especially in the French part of Belgium uh, in Wallonia. The thing I like the most about my job uh, is that uh, it has a purpose. Uh, in my two uh, previous jobs, it was not really the case. Even if for my first first job, I, I was working into, in the energy sector, which was quite uh, meaningful for me. But now I truly uh, believe that I have an, an impact on the companies, on the people uh, with whom I work. And that's what I was looking for uh, in my job, you know, a purpose and uh, to have some impact into uh, uh, towards sustainable development. What drives me every morning when I get up is that I can have an impact on people to help them integrate the sustainable development into their life, either personally or professionally. Professionally is my working is is for my working life. Into the my job is helping people working towards uh, develop, sustainable development. But also in my private life, as I'm also I have a side job which is sport coach, and there I also help people getting fitter, healthier to to get in better shape. To feel better because they can, you know, just uh, practice some physical activity, which is quite uh, really important uh, for the mind, especially in a COVID period uh, as we are experiencing. My best memories from the network, uh, I have, I, I think, uh, three different ones. Uh, the first one is uh, the people, uh, the people you meet from all different GEs, you meet people that you will never have uh, met other than with the Junior Enterprise Network. So that's the first thing, the people, the people you meet, but also the people you work with. It gathers people from different backgrounds, which is really, really enriching. And also uh, it helps you uh, work with many different people, which you will have to do in your uh, professional life, working life. Uh, second are the, the events and the, you know, the trainings, the free trainings we have access to uh, because, yeah, I know 
all the schools provide you with uh, different trainings to help you develop your skills but I truly uh, assure you that uh, the network will help you with many different uh, trainings that they provide you with that you will get more knowledge about, about some different topics that you will use later uh, later in your uh, working life. And the last one was uh, an event in Brussels uh, organized by uh, GEO Belgium or GEO Europe. No, uh, it was GEO Europe, uh, which was the Junior Enterprise Awards. Or I can remember the name exactly, but uh, yeah, it, it was so, so uh, inspiring to see all those uh, junior enterprises coming from all around Europe meeting there to, to celebrate their performance, but also to, to help any junior enterprise to grow and also on a personal point of view, you know, you, you also grow because you, uh, you know, the, the impact, you, you realize the impact or how far some junior enterprise are, they have developed many different things. And thanks to these events, you also uh, develop your own uh, junior enterprise which is quite a sign that you will have to do in your company, in the company you will be working in, uh, in the company you will be working, you will have to do that. So it helps you do that. All the junior entrepreneurs uh, looking at this, uh, I invite you to do uh, three different th things. The first one is to get out of your comfort zone. Do not stay in your school, do, new, do not stay with all the people, uh, you get along with, please go away, go in other universities, go to events, uh, meet people, uh, try to develop your business, try new things, uh, yeah, get out of your comfort zone, that's really, really important. Uh, second is that please uh, learn to work with anybody, even if you have a, a GE of five people, okay, it's easy, you work with uh, anyone. But when you have more than that, 15, 20, 25, 30 people, you cannot get along with anybody, but try to, uh, to work with anyone. It will help helps you in the working life as you will not have the chance to choose the people you will be working with. Third, uh, pay attention to your uh, recruitment processes. Try to be as objective as possible because for some students, it's their first experience their first uh, recruitment process. So pay attention to, to the feedback you give and remember that you were in their shoes and uh, always give feedback and try also to, to develop new uh, HR policy in your uh, junior enterprises. One advice for the alumni working on this uh, video, um, please in your working life, do not feel, do not lose confidence in yourself when you lose a job or, or when you don't find a job. I applied almost uh, 15 times to get a second job, which was a fixed term contract. And after that, I left to, to get my job, my current job. And there I found a purpose, meaningfulness, and I'm uh, respected and I'm evaluated for what I can bring to the company. And that's really, uh, yeah, enriching, inspiring, pleasant, uh, enthusiasm. And that's the most important. Even if you're not at the right place, it doesn't mean that you have no value. It means that you're not at the right place and those people do not see your skills or your value. And when you start thinking and asking yourself uh, those questions, please reconsider your job, the meaning behind your job, the purpose, and maybe it's time to, to change and to find more purpose in, to an, in another job. And don't be afraid, please. You will thank yourself years later, but do not uh, stay in a job where you're not happy. Either for alumni or junior entrepreneurs, I just would like to say uh, that what helped me into my journey, my, my life and my different experiences is that I never let go. I always, I try to always respect my values and I stay who I am. Um, that's the best advice that I can give to you. Uh, please go out of your comfort zone, that's where you grow. 
uh, either as a student where you can do almost anything, you, you will be always welcomed in, in companies, organizations, or you can do anything. And for alumni, uh, yeah, find a purpose, find a job that you like, truly like. And yeah, I'll finish with a quote. Uh, I truly think that in life, uh, either you win, it means that it works as planned, and sometimes it happens, so enjoy th these times, but either you win, either you learn. It's not because you don't uh, succeed in, in doing something that you, you have lost. Uh, it means that you learn that how not to do, and the second time you will do uh, better and you will maybe win. That's the best I wish to you. And as, as I'm recording this uh, video just before Christmas, I wish you uh, Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year. I hope I will see some of you uh, next year, maybe to our Junior Enterprise event. Um, yeah, feel free to contact me if you want more information about my background of uh, my job. Feel free to contact me and uh, yeah, be happy and enjoy. Bye-bye.